Whenever you get a lake that has flats, grass, rock, and food, and number one thing is flats, where they can reproduce and use it also to just feed a small mouth, they make babies and they eat and eat and eat. And when you have an environment like this, this is the good old days, if you know what I mean. Exactly. going aren't we they're biting so good the world is fishing here right now rightfully so they're biting that good we decided to uh phone a friend my buddy kevin was in the, the turkey woods and he's like ah i am coming there will be a lot of add in this boat today you have two adults that honestly do not listen to each other until we actually see a fish swimming. There is nothing like Lake St. Clair, but there is really nothing like Lake St. Clair right at the beginning of the spawn. He mm. saw a window. Uh, you saw the window. You I saw the window that. about to open. By the way, whenever we have a guest on the show, on a Zona show, honorary, I autographed a spinnerbait for you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> One of my all-time favorites. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> Remember when we went hunting and you lost your gloves? Stole them. <laughs> you know what? Here's the thing. That was like the longest intro ever. Here's the thing. Kevin and I used to tape every year, but as life would have it, schedules have got what's called quote unquote hashtag jacked up. But it's 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 like it all this came is, full circle. This is what turns us into giddy little kids right here. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh, it is all stuff. That's a big one to start. Uh, why wouldn't you? Why, why wouldn't we? That's a nice That's one. That's a nice one yes, there. Yeah, is. just a little chubber. Oh. <laughs> it is good to be back. <laughs> Biggin, 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 biggin. Well, they're all big. Ooh. Oh, that's a biggin. Like, sure enough. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! Look at him! Look at that bass! That's a good one there, what man. Are you kidding me? I'm a big believer in Z2s. Whether it's a regular Z2 or a baby Z2, I just need one one pack. Okay, we're not gonna run out today. A Strike King Baby Z2, whether it's on a Ned rig, whether it's on a drop shot, here is the best way to put it. It is a home wrecker. It's the Death Star. It is the Death Star. There's nothing on this. Oh, there is too. <laughs> One of the other things, and, and this is kind of something you live by, is, oh, the shallower you are, come on in, I'm gonna show you something. The shorter, the leader you want, that fish is fresh, fresh, big one. I only have on like a 
seven inch leader to a tour grade drop shot weight, quarter ounce, to where in the summertime or you're out deeper, it's a little bit longer. Remember this about a drop shot, okay? The colder the water, the shorter the leader. The warmer the water, the longer the leader. And, and the reason why is the shorter the leader in cold water, it makes that bait a lot, lot more subtle. And in the summertime, when the water warms up and you lengthen that leader maybe to like 15 or 18 inches, the bait gets a lot more action. You know what I mean? So it just warmer, longer, shorter, colder. Got it. Hit him, Kevin. You make him feel your lash. One of the other things, and we've done this so much together, and this is where a lot of folks go wrong, myself included, and Kevin when he was nine years old, is we have a tendency to get on the water and, and want to fish. This is hunting. Here's the thing. You use your eyes, eyes. you kick your trolling motor on high, dang it, go. Go until you find them. It's all about covering a ton of water. They don't cluster pod everywhere, no doubt. That's where you want to make sure your batteries are full charged before and you're going to run them all day. Oh, that didn't take long. Wow. That's a big one. That's a big one. <laughs> That's a big one. That is a baby Z2 sugar panda. These rods, this one's 7.2, this is a tube cracking rod. His is a 7.4 power finesse, but what we do a lot through the years, throw really, really heavy drop shots. You know, half ounce, three quarter ounce, and that rod. You need that soft, that extra fast soft tip, but that the rest, it's just. Oh my gosh. That's a good one. Wow. Man. That's a good one. Wow. Look at that bass. Look at that bass. Just perfect. Isn't that perfect? Imagine that fish in the summer. No hole. I mean, fresh as could be, man. They're just coming. Yeah. Big in, big in. Oh, it is too. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at that bass. I mean, he is just wild and all full of vinegar. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Good one. That is, that is. I know you like these shorter rods, dude. I like this 7.4 that you did. Well, I appreciate that, friend. I like that. It, it, it's hauntingly familiar. It, it is. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, there's a good in there. <laughs> Look at that. Ooh, he didn't like old Ned Flanders, did he? God, these fish are just That's a big one. That is a big one. Boom. More of that to go. Man. Yes, sir. That is phenomenal. My dad took me the first time smallmouth fishing since when I was seven. I've never been the same since, man. There's nothing better than that on the planet. When I covered Kevin for, for many years, which also was when Kevin had won 93 Angler of the Years combined with Bassmaster Classics, being in the boat with him, whether I covered him in tournaments or fished with him, it is, the, the best way to put it, it is organized chaos. All you gotta do is look at the bottom of the boat. And that is exactly <laughs> what you're about to see. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah, that's Real a big really one. big one. Wow, wow. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a... That is a conger. That's Darva conger. That's a big one. Yeah, that's a five pounder. Look at the bottom of this boat. This whole, everything's destroyed. Oh, yeah. Wee, hee, 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 hee. Oh, <laughs> I mean. yeah, that doesn't suck, friend. That is the best. I did everything I could to not come to this stretch the last 48 hours. 
I kept saying, Brandon, I'm gonna burn it down. I'm gonna burn it all down. Big one. I don't know. Oh, perfect. It's every big one. Oh, biggin. that's a big one. Big one. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Great big one. Tell me there's a better place on the planet. And the cool thing is this time of year in Michigan, this is catch and release season. So when you catch them, get a good look at one like that. And the great thing about it is he goes right back. Yeah, it took more. a long time and we worked really hard to get that open here. We did. It's such an unbelievable fishery. And I mean, look, there's hundreds of boats that way and hundreds of boats this way and everybody is out here just having- Just a time, Kevin. Time. Yeah, I mean like- Just that, having a time. Fathers and sons and daughters and just, when you get weather like this out here, I mean, it's just <laughs> magical. Oh my God. Click. Boom. Oh, uh, yeah, that's yeah, a good one. Yeah, yeah. God. They are just swimming up here by the thousands. This is the Venice of freshwater. This is the Whoville of fishing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This, is there, this is the Whoville This is the Whoville. They love the shade of that boat. You kind of had that vibe coming out of the harbor. Yeah, I knew. As I'm standing there and I look down and I'm like, hey Z, there's one, two, three, four as we're trolling out. Right. I said, yeah, don't worry about those. <laughs> there's only just a fun week. What's really special about Michigan and, and a couple of our friends and our Kevin and I, we all work to get catch and release season in Michigan almost a decade ago now, but we grew up in a time where you could not come out here and fish this time of year. And granted, we don't do a lot of spawning bass shows at all, but when they do lock on, we have yep. grown up doing <laughs> that. Smallmouth fishing was good back in the day, but this is the best it's ever been in my and yours lifetime. The zebra mussels, the gobies, the management practices, the catch and release season. I mean, there's hundreds of people out here having great times catching these fish and putting them right back in the water. giant one right here. That's the one, I, that's oh. the one that oh. <laughs> we already had just caught. Big one, big one. <laughs> what a day. Big one. Die. I don't know why I turkey hunted this week. It has been insane. No, it's, it's just getting it's just, insane. It's just starting. We snuck inside some boats and then some boats started getting closer, and this one dude finally, he's I give like, him credit. He, he, did, he, he swallowed his pride, and he's like, what are you guys throwing? It was awesome. He's like, I, he just couldn't believe it. You know, they're fishing all around us, and they're catch, you know, they catch one maybe every now and then, and we're just Yeah. Baby Z2, come and get some. Put it on high. So you were a nice guy called him over, two guys over, and, yes. and gave him some baby Z2s, and that's a hard bait to find right now. This is my friend, Uncle Kevin. <laughs> Kevin, <laughs> Matt, and Tim. Hey, guys, guys, seriously, I I'm gonna get you an address if you can send me like 50 bucks for that, that stuff, all right? <laughs> yeah. See you, Matt and Tim. Good to meet you guys. Tomahawk ribeyes are well appreciated. Do you got, Z do you got baby Z2s? 
Come on, come on, come on. Short leader, real small hook, okay? Look at this boat. What a train wreck. Here. Turn around. Hang on, let me catch Hold this up. one a second. Hold on. What are, you, what are you talking about? What, what is happening right now? What, like literally, what is, go, what is going on? What is happening right now? Thanks, guys. Thank you. What's your name, little dude? Parker? Eight inch leader, okay, buddy? All right. Did not quite give them all the colors we were using. I don't, th I, you know what, what's weird is I don't think it really mattered that today we were using the deal, Arkansas Shiner, and really the other thing, here's the best way to put it. We were a ripping and a tearing, a ripping and a tearing. I'll give you one piece of advice. If you are ever gonna go smallmouth fishing anywhere, I don't care if it's Pickwick, Table Rock, Dale Hollow, St. Lawrence River, or Lake St. Clair, if you don't have a bunch of baby Z2s in your tackle box, you yeah. don't have all the tools you need. Yeah. Plain and simple. Nope, that nice. did it for him. That's a big end. <laughs> I knew he wouldn't stand the old goby. Yeah, that's a big one. Just changed colors. The deal. There are so many bass up here now. <laughs> this is so... It's honestly monotonous, man. Let me see him. <laughs> <laughs> He's a long one. We are hurting them. Yeah. <laughs> After about 10 o'clock today, I said, Kevin, we're going to burn it all to the ground today. And we did it in about literally two and a half hours, three <laughs> hours of wrecking. We are home wreckers there. I had found what we call a cluster pod a honeycomb of big ones. I hadn't touched them for like three or four days. Thank you for that, by yeah, the way. I, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, that's what friends do. A protein journal, you want to hold that standard. It always has been right here. Look at it. Doing a grinder fishing show, yeah, they tell a, an incredible story, but also doing a fishing show that you are beating them down. Those are fun fishing shows to do and watch. Yeah. And, and, and I learned a lot of that from Kevin. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, that's a oh, 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 oh. <laughs> cow. Look at that bass. <laughs> Ay, 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 ay. I mean, I'm talking about a dead ratchet grebe. That is so amazing. Stay hooked. I don't even slow down to, to look. I'm just still casting. That's a good one. That's a good one. I'm exhausted. It's 10 o'clock. It is 10 o'clock. Wow. KVD, I love you, bud. This is what we do right here. This is what we do. Love you, brother. Yes, sir. Thanks for the invite. Yes, sir. Hey, just so you know, I didn't ding these at all yeah. this week for you. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, gosh. Ooh. It's a good one. Kevin, we are done. <laughs> we are done. <laughs> you, you might be. <laughs> you know what? I, I closed the show. I, was, I said, hey, 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 well, you've been here for five days. <laughs> right. I, I don't know that it's the best situation at my house, but I closed the show early. <laughs> I think I did it a little premature, and I was like, you know what? We're done. And we were. 
Were we? Oh, five days. Wow. I know. <laughs> five days. It has been a time. Wow. <laughs> This is the dumbest. Hey. When we get together, more times than not, four letter word, not the one you're thinking. Epic, <laughs> epic. <laughs> I totally got went, you on that I one. Totally went somewhere else. <laughs> oh, right here, Jeezy Pete, big cruiser. Really? Yeah, see, look. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wow. That was phenomenal. <laughs> I mean a big and three spawny. Just cr that's a big one. There's a five pounder. Yeah it is. Jeez. Just saw him swimming on the sand. Mine does not count. <laughs> I got a lowly old three pounder. That's a big one. Fat. Look at that bass. That's a big one. Mine That's the way I love catching them too, man. My, I mean, mine ain't bad. Hey, but he ain't real good. Come oh there. my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's what you call. Dude, you threw out and I saw him turn and I'm like, there's no, no way. way. <laughs> there's no way. Look at that belly. Yeah, that's a five pounder all day. Look at that, dude. Yeah, it is for sure five. That's a. This is his baby. Wait, what? You know what was to go kind of full circle on this is is we hadn't been around each other too much with work and blah 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 and pandemic. It, pandemic, right? Exactly. Well, we've snuck out a few times, but we today was a uh, a special day in a lot of ways. And what's funny is it it was. St. Clair, you got to kind of pick your battle and stay quiet because yep. the crowd draws in. And you know what? When the crowd really drew in, shut we her were, down. We were done. Get, get we out. were done. You know what? We are what, Kevin? <laughs> Toast. We're done. done. It's over. It's all, it's all over. Goodbye, Lake St. Clair. We're, we're done. We're done. You can't take five days of this amount of money, <laughs> can you? It's the, the whole week's been overstimulating. On the water, off the water. But to watch the whole transition of them to go from cold. Kevin, let, let's not make it three years next time, four yeah. years. Done. We're over. Blow it up and blow it up. Love you, Bill. Bring it in. Hey, Kevin, thank you for completely trashing my boat. That's pretty much <laughs> why you came up with the train wreck of the week, well, I think, because it happens every single time. Just look at this boat. Brandon, you here? The whole week, seriously? Listen, when this is going on, for anybody at home, and you're out man, you're alone, and all this footage that you're watching right here, do yourself a favor, phone a friend. Bring somebody into the mix. <laughs> and they will be glad you did. <laughs> We're done and I still can't quit casting. <laughs> what a show. Oh, look at there. I mean, why wouldn't you? Wow. Gosh. Wow. Just a little baby cub. They are everywhere.